All right, first time scripting a video in a very long time. I think the last servant I tried to script was uh, Jox de Malay. So yeah, that was one of my first videos. Long time ago, uh, let's try scripting again. I do have like time at work. I actually can be working on a script pretty much every day. So I might start scripting videos more often. So Yamaname Keisuke, he is Shinsengumi support first and for foremost but he's also a good general support looking at his attack stat not the highest like it is it's very below average like this is what rulers tend to have like they have low attack but higher hp uh so he's supposed to be a support though so it really doesn't matter you're not using ksk uh for dps especially because he does not have a damaging mp hp this is like high this is high for a four star. Almost, uh, it's 2.5k pretty much. So good, gonna do well with rails. I'm not rails. Sorry. Water soon. It'll, uh, his HP will be high with foes, and if you want to rail him, star weight, star gen, typical saber. MP gain though, 0.81. This is very nice, especially because he has an arts MP. If you want to do a full arts brave chain with him just to spam the MP, you probably aren't going to refund 100% unless you're getting crits on both the arts cards, uh, which might have problems. It's, yeah, it's supposed to be a support, not DPS. But, you know, gains will be good in chains. Just try to do arts chains as much as possible. And as much as you can, because most, uh, the only Shinsengumi that's actually arts is uh, Hajime. So, yeah. Three hits on quick, two on arts, three on buster, and five hit extra attack. Upstairs are is looking pretty good for a support. All right, skill one. Charisma, 20%. And here's another thing, MP generate, along with a star bomb. So if you remember like two days ago, I did send no RQ. This is essentially the same skill. I mean, obviously this isn't giving quick, it's giving an attack. And this is like giving crits like less stars, but send is a five star. It's both skills are still giving MP gen, both are on six turn. As a general, since he's a, like, since the Shinsen, uh, Shinsengumi are, like, literally, like, a mix of card types, there's not one specific one. They focus more on quick, but, and that's mostly because of Okita. It's not the other cards. It's literally because of Okita. Him having general attack is actually pretty good. For just, like, a normal splashable support you can put with almost any team. Like, this is, like, this is stuff any team would, like... If you need to fill spots, like this isn't a bad thing to uh, put him, just put him in the team. <laughs> drop this like esports style. Drop him in, he dies. Buster gone. Second skill. This this looks way more generic. Thirty percent arts, thirty percent quick, and twenty percent battery. Also on a six turn cooldown. <sighs> the battery is annoying because um. You're gonna need a different type of uh, CE. It can't be a 50%, it would need to be a 60. So like uh, Devilish Bodhisattva, some of the anniversary CEs, like a lot of those MOB are uh, 60. So you would need those to MP off the rip. But I mean, Devilish Bodhisattva wouldn't be bad on him. He, he definitely would like the extra overcharge. Um, all in all, this skill is okay. It's not when you see like the double car buff at 30%, it's at base, it's gonna be six turns, it's never gonna be like lower than that, or it shouldn't be lower. Like the 30 30 is usually six turns, and you know, arts and quick, it, like put them in chains, they'll his MP will go up. He has he has the gains to do it won't be struggling that 
that much unless you're not hitting his cards and the, like the 20 percent is nice so like if you don't do it to start emptying off the rip at least you're at least you ha he has a battery at least as a support he has a battery this skill i'm not i i really don't like this skill like cool this is a chunky heal 3k is a chunky heal this is at best situational at worst it's a detriment if you put don't like not doman uh van gogh on the team this will act, like if you bring him with van gogh you will you are actually gipping yourself like ruining like van gogh's play style this is cool it's just like a neat bonus but this is just like this is a disengage that's like both worse and better it's worse because this isn't a real cleanse it's like a dot cleanse only and it's also party but it's party wide hp and they threw a little dodge that you know it, this isn't a terrible dodge it, you can't waste it. it stops one attack but invincibility is better than dodge but it's also shinsengumi and they didn't exactly deal with the mystics like isn't i'm pretty sure like isn't Okitan like the only Shinsengumi that actually has invincibility? Yeah, like Saber, Saber Okitan and like OG Okitan. Like both of them had uh, invincibilities, but none of the other sh uh, Shinsengumi have it. So, skill's not bad, but I'm not the biggest fan. Like, it, out of all the skills that would be buffed, this is the first one that would get a buff. Fastest skills, nothing to talk about. Weak magic resistance, even as a saber. Very weak writing. It might like it might as well not be there, but it's there. So maybe a few more stars that are a little better MP regen, but not by much. Just pick mana loading here. He's supposed to be a support. You're not doing extra attacks. This isn't a bad one to level, but it's just like you're not you shouldn't be worrying about damage on a support. And MP. So, with this MP, uh, I drew a lot of comparisons to it when I was first looking at it. There's like quasi Castoria because it's a charisma that scales off level. Bango, Bango, or I want to say like this part is like pretty damn close to Bango because they're guaranteed and it's it stars per turn and crit damage just like Bango, but damage is very specific to Shinsengumi, which is why at the start I said he's mostly Shinsengumi support. It's here, it's this part, and his Bonsi, which actually is pretty good. Overcharge, uh, charges the party's MP. So you do want him to, you do kind of want to put him at the end of chains, uh, MP chains, and if you can get overcharge, go for it because this will help like all the Shinsengumi like get their MPs back quicker. Which seeing as Hajime is the only arts one, like don't get me wrong, for like Hajime, like this is Keisuke like pretty much gives Hajime like what his third skill is like hit based. Like this would give him the solid stuff. That would just like honestly make uh Hajime pop pop off. Like, honestly, I think Hajime, and it's funny because they were also introduced together. Like, uh, KSK came out in, uh, Guda Guda 5, now he's out. His best, best case would be Hajime, because then they could, you could be, uh, spamming Art Spritz, or not Art, Art Spritz, uh, Art Chains more effectively. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be uh, slacking on damage with their DPS. Um... So leveling skills, you know, you have the proofs. It's not terrible. You don't have like a stupid high amount. Like there's no 70 proofs you need. There's no 60 void dust or anything. This is probably going to be the most annoying, annoying part, honestly. And a pens is, you have this shit. So he he has something annoying, but it's, it's something most people aren't going to interact with. And Bon CE. Uh, I keep bringing this up all the time, but there, um, in, an, in the Femi 2 article released over the summer, 
I believe it was Tucson, said that bond CEs were going to get looked at. I implied or I interpreted that cost would go down from a nine to like maybe three or five. And for a general support servant, just this part is fine as a bond CE for like a low cost. Like that's, that would be great. He'd help, he'd give everyone 30% MP gain. And then Shinsengumi specifically, another 15% crit, which every uh, Shinsengumi loves their crits. Every single one of them, especially Hijikata, who is the Shinsengumi. Is Keisuke must summon? No. Is he, is he going to be fun to use with the Shinsengumi for like memes? Absolutely. Just full on Shinsengumi memes. Memes, all of them. Um, I talked about his best use case, and it really is Hajime and Saber Okitan, because Oki Saber Okitan is supposed to be uh, quick looping. So him being on the field is an extra 30% MP gain. If you don't have Castoria, boom, there you go. There, That's another support that will help uh, Saber Okitan do her looping. And it'll give a little more crit damage too. So yeah, if you're summoning for Sen no Rikyu, uh, Keisuke is going to be worth leveling. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way just for him though. Alright, let me know how you felt about the scripting of it. I didn't stick exactly to it, more as a guideline. Um, please put in the comments if you prefer me being more, uh, a little more floaty, talk more about lore and how I'm enjoying the characters or more. Um, also, cut down on the uns, because I do say that a lot. But, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.